Rising costs of farm inputs are grossly affecting the growth of the country's agriculture sector. The industry's players made this known at the flag off of the Rural Agricultural Development Consortium, RATSI, in Abuja. Lara Falayan reports. The official flag off of the Rural Agricultural Development Consortium. The project has a model aimed at fast-tracking national food, nutritional and social security. It is designed to develop unused arable lands while opening up new opportunities for communities and farmers. The theme of the flag of exercise is repositioning Nigeria's agriculture for global competitiveness. But for many at this ceremony, Nigeria's agricultural commodities attaining global competitiveness remains a tall order for several reasons, a major one being the rising cost of inputs, which has stunted growth. There has been an over 200% increment in the cost of inputs, mechanization equipment, and even the energy needed to power them are also affected. We are bringing a, a, a new strategy that moves off away from subsistence farming, do you understand, and to commercial farming under a private sector initiation, the initiative, do you understand? And to say now also, we are also telling other input suppliers, other mechanization services, that we should come together, do you understand, and to now operate this program and contribute to uh, to register the rat seed. So this is exactly what we are doing right. The concern here is that despite the vast natural agricultural resources the country has for massive production, it still heavily relies on importation of certain commodities. The situation is described as one urgently requiring the right operational environment for the sector to thrive. If we go to other developing nations, no program depends on government but the private sector. So we, the private sector, coming together to, to, to initiate a program like this, RATSI, is going to change the way agriculture has been looked at from subsistence to commercial farming. We don't export anything. We always import and import. And most of the time we import is what they will take from Nigeria and go to outside country to find. That is where science and technology has to be shown itself. We must add value to all our products. If we do that, not only that we are going to create jobs to our team and youth, the gap between the very rich will be put together. The Rural Agricultural Development Consortium has the short-term goal of developing 500,000 hectares of farmlands across different states towards the creation of 1 million jobs and about 2 million indirect jobs for community-based young people and women. It as well targets producing 2.5 million metric tons of crops like rice, maize, wheat and cassava annually, a development expected to attract an estimated 50 billion naira direct investments into agrarian rural communities. Lara Folayo, TVC News, Abuja.